In today's video, I wanna share what to eat for optimal energy. So everything I've got here is really focused on healthy, sustained energy. We've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, and drinks. Okay, so today we're talking about how to boost energy. I think that this is something literally everyone can relate with. Um, you know, it's something that can fluctuate day to day, week to week, it totally depends on what's going on in your life, but at some point we're all gonna want some kind of energy boost. And for me personally, I really, really stay away from energy drinks, um, anything that's too artificial in general that's gonna give you that crash and burn. And I think that really just knowing the right kind of food to eat, the way to even categorize the food and group them together. You know, nature will give us what we need to get the right amount of energy or health or sustainability. So I wanted to share examples of what you can eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner to just really get you there. So I've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I have the food prepped. I do have Four Sigmatic drinks that I pick specifically for energy. So you guys know I love Four Sigmatic. I incorporate their drinks all the time, but there's so many options that they have. I specifically chose three that I think are the best for sustained energy, especially in this combination. So I'll go through examples of when to use one of these and why I start off with this one for breakfast specifically. So let's start with breakfast. Um, this is all breakfast right here, but you know I love food combining, so I always like to start with organic berries. Um, you know, I limit my fruit consumption to the morning. I know a lot of you guys ask like, is fruit too sugary, is it healthy? I love fruit, but I try to just eat it in the morning on an empty stomach, it's optimal this way. These are organic berries. Um, if there's one fruit that I could pick all the time, it's usually organic berries. They're just so high in antioxidants. I think the highest among any other fruit. And making sure that our body is fighting free radicals, is healthy, is detoxed, that's a huge part of energy. It's not always about caffeine or like maybe the initial energy boost. The healthier you keep your body long-term, the better. And having this right when you wake up just gives you like a natural detox. So. I'll do like a half a cup of berries, sometimes a cup, depending on what else I'm eating. The drink I like to have for breakfast when I really wanna make sure my energy is high is this one, it's the Adaptogen Coffee Mix. So this is an interesting one because there is coffee, so you are still gonna get caffeine, but it's less caffeine because it's also mixed in with adaptogens, uh, specifically Tulsi is the hero ingredient in this. So adaptogens in general are great for balancing your hormones, um, kind of just bringing you back to stability. They help your body react to any stressors that you're going to face so they can help with so many different things and just help reduce your stress in general. Tulsi is really cool because it's known to help promote like a calmness. So what I like about this one, is I tend to wake up a little bit anxious in the morning, even if everything's fine. Sometimes my cortisol is just a little bit high. I'm thinking about like all the things I have to do. Um, so I don't want too much coffee or too much caffeine. So I like the combination of the tall C to kind of calm me and then the coffee to just give me that little boost. Also, I just love the taste of coffee. So it's kind of like my morning cup. All you have to do is mix these packets with the hot water. So in the mornings, I actually like to make a little latte, whether I'm having tea or coffee. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've been sharing my milk frother constantly. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own little latte, which is way less expensive than buying it out. And I'll just teach you how you can do it at home. So I'm gonna turn on my tea kettle right here, grab the almond milk and I'll be right back. I've got the almond milk, this is my favorite brand. It's just pure almond milk, there's no fillers or anything. So this is the milk frother, I'm gonna put it in here. It's plugged in a little bit off camera so you guys can't see it, but I'm literally just gonna pour it in here and it has a hot and cold setting. I just press the hot one and then it's ready to go. All right, so while that's warming up, I'm just gonna open this. Pour it right into here. So normally when I make Four Sigmatic, um, I only like to put a little bit of water because I like to I like the taste more and I don't like to dilute it. But when I'm making a latte, I will fill the whole thing up because the frothed almond milk and everything together just gives it enough flavor so it doesn't matter if it's a little more diluted. So I'm gonna do about half water. Mm, coffee smells good. And then when the milk is done frothing, I will pour the rest of it in there and even top it with a little cinnamon. With these, I actually don't have to top it with anything. When I'm not drinking Four Sigmatic, I'll usually add like some nutmeg or cinnamon, but they're all flavored for the most part with like really amazing spices that taste good. So you actually don't need anything else on top of it. Okay. 
Okay. So it will stop automatically on its own. I'm hoping you can see this in camera. That really pretty froth on the top. Oh, it's so yummy. Get a spoon and mix it. It's a bit hot, so I'm gonna take a little sip. Oh, it's so good. It's a little bit hot right now, so I can't take a huge sip, but you don't even taste the Tulsi. It just tastes like a really yummy coffee with some almond milk, so it's like your own latte. I'll usually have, the, I'll usually sip the coffee, have the fruit, wait about 20 minutes, and then I'll move on to a little bit of a bigger breakfast once that digests. And for energy, my absolute favorite thing is to have like a really good, like clean, hearty bread and avocado. So just a simple avocado toast. So there's a few reasons I would choose avocado toast in the morning for breakfast if I'm just focusing on energy. Number one, it tastes amazing, but also 80% um, of the carbs that come from an avocado because it does have some carbs, but 80% of that is actually the fiber. So this is gonna give you really like optimal sustained energy instead of that like crash and burn you might get from like a bar or an energy drink. Um, it's full of B vitamins. B vitamins are great for energy and just healthy fats in general help us increase energy like literally inside of our cells. Like if you want something for quick energy, healthy fats are the way to go. It's the same reason why Bulletproof Coffee is what it is because it's fat like MCT oil, coconut oil. You put that into your coffee and it helps you get more energy. So when I want quick avocado toast, I literally just mash it up in here. Just do that and I will put it right on. The whole avocado is pretty heavy, so usually I'll stick to like half. So that's it. This is the avocado toast, super simple. You can add a little bit of sea salt and pepper, anything you want, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do. You literally just toast it and no need to get more dishes messy. So let's move that aside. So after breakfast, I will go to my mid-morning snack, which actually ends up being a drink because a lot of times you're not that hungry. Sometimes you just want something to sip on. Um, and if your energy is low, that can translate into you thinking you're hungry. So before I have lunch, I always like to have like another hot drink and I will vary between two of these four Sigmatics. It really depends on that day and how my energy is going. So this one is the mushroom elixir mix. This one has no, no other coffee or tea. It's just kind of the mushroom elixir. So the key ingredient in this one is lion's mane and lion's mane has just been studied for centuries for its brain health benefits. Um, memory boosting, concentration, it's got short-term and long-term benefits. So I like this because not only is it giving you kind of a short-term burst of energy, but it's also just supporting brain health long-term. So if I'm like, my energy is really not that low, like it's good from the morning, but I just kind of want a little pick me up like slightly, I will have something like this. This is perfect for that. Now, if for some reason I'm really exhausted, it's been a long morning and I want more of a pick me up, I will go to the mushroom matcha mix. So this one has matcha, which is green tea. Green tea naturally has caffeine, but that's only part of the reason I like this one. Um, matcha naturally has an amino acid called L-theanine. And this amino acid is known as like the calming energy, like a calming energy amino acid. So I just think that's kind of cool because again, you're getting a calming benefit, but you're also getting energy from the caffeine. Also this mix has lion's mane. So all the brain boosting benefits we mentioned before, and it has ginger, which is just great for taste digestion. It's just like an added benefit. So this is a cool drink because it's like the calm focus or the calming energy drink. That's what I like to consider it. So. That's more if you really need another boost, but if not, then you can just have the Lion's Mane Elixir. So that will carry me through to lunch. And then that brings us to lunch and you can't really see what's in here, but it's a lot of quinoa and a lot of veggies. So I like to have like a healthier starchy food for lunch versus something too heavy. Um, the quinoa is just great because it's full of protein. Um, it's full of fiber. Again, it's gonna keep you full longer. And all the greens and the cucumbers, the celery, all of these are filled with water and hydration is so important for energy. If you feel like your energy is really low, you've got to focus on eating foods that are high in water. So this combo is just perfect. I'll top this off with like um, balsamic vinegar or lemon, really anything. And it's also a super easy one because you can get it at most salad bars. If you have like a Whole Foods near you at the salad bar, you can make it. So just fill your lunch up with 
good raw fresh greens and veggies but also some quinoa or some kind of grain or something warming if that makes sense um sometimes just a raw salad isn't enough to hold me over i definitely don't use that as just my meal so i always like to add a little something extra to give me you know that sustained fullness and energy so so far we've got a lot of fiber a lot of antioxidants and a lot of water filled foods so we're on the right track here after lunch I usually am held over since that's a bit heavier till dinner and this is the dish that I wanted to show you guys how to make together since it's so easy. So this is kind of my pasta cheat meal um, and I don't even mean cheat meal because I'm being bad, I mean you're cheating your brain into thinking that you're eating more than you are. So my trick with pasta is to make a bowl of pasta and make a ton of veggies. Mix all of these together, every bite you take you're gonna have a little pasta, a little veggie. So you're still gonna get that satisfaction. Your brain is still gonna feel like you're eating this big pasta dish, but you're eating half the amount because the other half is taken up with veggies. And by the time you even get there or feel like you want more, you're gonna be so full from the fiber in these veggies that you'll end up just not needing as much of like the, you know, the starchy pasta. And on top of that, the pasta that I use is always either a lentil pasta, a brown rice pasta, or a quinoa pasta. This one specifically is a lentil pasta. I like to have a little more protein at night, so I have my veggies in the morning, my protein at night. This whole video, by the way, low key is food combined, so I know that wasn't the focus of this video, but food combining is always something that just helps you have energy naturally because your body isn't working so hard to try to digest, and the more your body isn't, you know, occupied with digesting, the more it can give you great energy and sustainability and work to just repair everything else that you need, you know, just day-to-day -day help on. So the pasta's already boiled. So really all you have to do is take your veggies. If they're fresh, you just saute them for a few minutes. Um, you could even steam them, that's super easy. Um, but if you wanna saute them for a little more flavor, you can do that. If they're frozen, you literally just have to boil your pasta and throw them in together. I like to use a pesto sauce. You can make your own. I can even throw a recipe below this video. If you guys want a recipe, let me know because there's a really easy one I can add. Um, you can find a really easy, healthy pesto recipe. Um, just think back to when you were a kid and you'd have like pasta with like cheesy broccoli pasta. That's kind of what we're doing here, but much healthier. So I'm gonna throw this in the pan, saute it, maybe 10 minutes, throw the pasta in and then we're gonna be done. All right, so the pasta's done. Show you guys what it looks like. It smells so good. Um, usually, honestly, you can even do more veggies than this, but just like I said, every little bite is a little veggie, a little pasta. Um, and I like having a good, like, bigger meal and a more sustainable meal at night. Holds me over. And I also noticed that I used to eat really light dinners and then I would always like snack a little more in the night, but now when I have something that really fills me up, I don't feel the need to snack. So this is kind of just a great routine that's helped me for energy, for staying full and overall just feeling great. So these are my three favorite Four Sigmatics for energy. These are the ones I recommend trying if you feel like your energy is low and you wanna incorporate something else into your diet. You probably see me talking about a lot of the other drinks because I like them too, but when I'm just focused on energy, these are the ones that I like. I will make sure to include these links in the description below and you can also use my link to get 15% off your first order at Four Sigmatic. If you guys have any questions in this video or recipes or just any comments, please let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time.